what's up this is um it's your boy reek <laughs> coming back at you with another video um today we're gonna be doing linux socket programming in c slash c plus plus we're gonna be doing it in c plus plus so it's essentially the same thing so um here we go first thing you're gonna want to do is make your file so we're nano socket that's cpp we're gonna cover client um, and s client side programs and socket creation. Um, we're not doing server side yet. We're going to do that next video. So, here we go. Um, first thing you want to do, the things we're going to need in our first, just the uh, program to create the socket, is um, include stdio.h. We need that. And include sys slash socket dot h dot and um, we're gonna need to include IO stream like we needed in every single C plus program C plus plus program program there is we're gonna be using namespace std Okay, here we go. Int main. We're going to set um, an integer to argument count. It's going to be set as an integer. Um, char, which is going to be set as a character. Um, argument vector. I'm just going to put the what do I see it's called? Square brackets. Okay. First thing we need to do is we're going to set the integer int socket underscore then we're going to set the socket equal to socket af underscore inet so that is going to uh, specify the socket to be a part of the ipv4 family or um i yeah okay sock underscore stream that's going to be that's going to declare that this is a tcp oriented socket if you want a udp you do sock underscore dgram but we're not covering that today so and then zero for the IP protocol. Okay, this is pretty simple. Um, then just a simple if socket underscore the script equals a negative one, which is always which is um, the negative value, which it always it's the negative value in um, socket programming. If you receive a negative one, that means your program failed. So could not create socket. That is because it. Okay. Um, we're also going to set an else. Um, I suppose we could make it easier on us by just returning one, but I don't really want to do that. Um, I suppose it's just stupid. Why would I ever say that? Um, socket successful. And that should be about good. Zero. Trying to get old zero. That was gay. Okay. So now let's see how many errors I get here. Where was that? Here it is. Okay. 
That was stupid of me. Attack. Oh, socket. Okay, now when we run this program, it's going to tell us the sock creation was successful. So we created a socket. Now we're going to, um, you know, a new program, which is going, this program is going to connect to Google for us. So, um, here we go. We're going to need to include stdio.h. We're going to need everything from the last one plus a couple more. There's one more, but include include sys socket that h, and then we're also going to need include arpa include arpa slash inet that h, which is going to it's going to make um, converting your inet address, which is your IP address, it's a little long format, very it's a lot simpler. Let's see what I mean in a second. Int main. We're going to set the same things we did last time. Int org c char org v char for character head ass. Mm. Int underscore socket script. What the hell? Underscore int. Then struct socketer and say yes, you know what? Yeah, okay. Reading off my notes here. Now we're going to create the socket. So, socket underscore the script equals socket. So, this is the same thing we just did a second ago. Inet sock underscore stream for a TCP oriented connection. Zero for IP family. If here we're going to be a socket because there's a negative one. STD C out um, socket. Socket creation failed. Well, I'm going to do this here. Okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not going to need to tell them if it's if it works. So we're we're just going to skip the um else statement here. We're just going to go ahead and do. A server server dot sin underscore address dot s underscore address equals uh, I need address and this is going to be the IP of the server you want to connect to so we're just going to go ahead and open up a new terminal we're going to ping That is Google's IP, so we can take that. We copy this. Oh, what the hell, dude? Okay. Yeah, I see that there's an extra. Hold on. Okay. Oh, I'm tired. Alright. It's server dot sin underscore family equals 
AF underscore INET server dot sim underscore port equals H times. So this is the port we're going to be connecting to, which is going to be port 80. So if connect socket this is the trickiest part here. I guarantee you I'm going to misspell something. Struck socketer star answer size of server. Oh my god. Says it's I'm just oh my going to so this is just saying if it's less than zero, which is negative one STD see out. Next failed. Um, then we're gonna have it return one just so it'll close the program. Uh, cancel that. <coughs> Hold on. Get up my notes. I lost them here. Ooh, wait a minute. Yep. And if that does not happen, STD. See out. Connected. See how many things I messed up here. Tech O oh, Google, please don't miss, please don't blow up. Um C out is not a member of STD. Uh, boy, what did I do here? Namespace std. Oh, almost forgot one thing. Include. We gotta always use IO stream. That was, I'm assuming what my problem is here. Uh, expected. So, I forgot to put a semicolon. That should be everything, actually. Other than this warning it's given me, but I don't but boy. Alright, cool. And we were connected. So thank you for watching. I know this has been a long video. Um please like rate and subscribe. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads recently. I don't I just haven't been uploading. I'm sorry. Um I'll try to upload more. But thanks for watching. I should make a server I mean a video explaining the server side soon. Thanks for watching. Please like, rate, and subscribe. Peace.